you know, some real positives about what we did offensively. Uh, we had a, a you know, a stretch in that second quarter, which really hurt us in this game. Um, you know, but with uh, with all the, the the emphasis on the offensive end and and you know seeing that type of growth, um, we didn't do we didn't play well enough defensively. You know, period, in particular the third quarter. Um, you know, so we're going to miss guys like that, like Ron and AD on both sides of the ball, and you know, getting us organized offensively is really probably my top priority right now. And uh, you know, I know we can tighten the screws defensively, but we got to be better on that end. And Frank, with the with the day off before the back to back, do you have any idea yet if you could get some help back with Mark returning, or are you are you not focused on that yet and still figuring out a way to piece together what you have? Yeah, that's uh that's on the medical team to to keep working with him on and his uh you know his build back up uh, to to return to play. Um, so we'll see uh, until they tell they tell me he's clear. You know, this is the group that we got, and we got to go win a game Thursday night. Okay, Dave McMenamin. Right, a handful of NBA teams have been reported to have received the COVID-19 vaccine, including your opponent tonight. Um, has there been any progress or opportunities for uh, the Lakers to, to do that as a group? Uh, not yet. You know, we're still waiting. Um, you know, there's been some talk about, you know, trying, trying to get it, but, uh, you know, we're not there yet. Okay, Brad Turner, please. Hello, Frank. What's up, You're playing really hard, so what's going to be the key to getting discouraged? Oh, we're staying positive. You know, uh, we've got a, a great belief in this group. Um, you know, even with uh, with AD and Braun out, that we can win games during this stretch and that there's going to be a silver lining to it at the end of it. You know, uh, the growth that we exhibit, you know, over the next uh, X amount of games, you know, where we're shorthanded uh, will pay dividends for us down the stretch. And, you know, we're going to remain positive. We're going to keep playing super hard like we did tonight. And, um, you know, we just got to execute better and, and collect as many wins along the way as we can. Uh, but our group's going to remain positive. Okay, Dan, why please? Hey, Frank, um, do you expect uh, big changes in this roster, but, you know, following Thursday? Um, is that an expectation that you have? And, and I guess kind of are there even, based on the pro? I mean, it's not like you can go replace LeBron or Anthony Davis at the trade deadline. <laughs> is there a type of player that could even help right now? Um, you know, I... I don't, you know, I don't know what type of player. I mean, there's, there's always, you know, types of players that can help you. Uh, but the biggest thing is we just have to get healthy, you know. So my expectation, those conversations are, are for the front office. Uh, you know, my expectation is, uh, you know, we're going to win games with this group, and I believe in the group that we have, you know. So uh, if nothing happens, um, you know, we're going to, we're going to win games. We'll figure out how to way to, uh, figure out a way to win games during this stretch, and it'll benefit us uh, during the long run. So. You know, I'm not sure if, uh, if we'll see any changes or not. I would probably, most trade, trade deadline uh, situations, there's a lot of talks uh, that result in nothing. And, you know, that's my expectation as a coach. Okay, Kyle Goon, please. Hey, Frank, um, just wondering what went into the decision to give Devontae a shot at his first NBA start. Um, is it a viable option going forward as long as Mark is out? and, and how tough is it when, you know, he's physically given up a ton of weight to guys like Stephen Adams and, and Zion Williamson to, to encourage him through that? Yeah, the, the the 48 minutes is the is the big picture, and you know, uh, Tate can beat guys with his uh, you know, he has advantages in other ways, you know, with his speed, running the floor, defensive activity, and I thought he played a good basketball game tonight. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things. You're shorthanded. You 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 call on the guys that that you need, and uh, you know, you work. Uh, work these stretch and if it's a situation where like Trez it's better off to keep him in his role coming off the bench and play big minutes that way um, you know that's a decision we'll continue to make on a game-to-game -game basis but I thought Tay played a good good good